Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 for June 24th to the 25th, 2021. All right, let's get into it with an oracle card message for my Geminis for the next 48. What is going on with Gemini for June 24th to the 25th? All right, let's see. We have goat, potency, noise. We have snake, rebirth, lovely energy. We have seal, vulnerability. And overall energy is B, community. So these cards are pretty <laughs> straightforward and self-explanatory right here. Potency is just like a rebirth. It's like you, it's like you birthed yourself. It's odd. I feel like you may be in the midst of it. It's like you're halfway through or coming out of it. So it's like a very vulnerable time for you. Cause it's like, I think if you interrupt a snake while their, their skin is shedding, that's not good or something like that. It's like a rebirth is a very vulnerable time or being birthed, you know? Because, like, if it's interrupted, it could, like, it could mess with the whole process. But with, let me clarify, let me get into this. Because I, I love this energy here, but it's kind of annoying right here with the vulnerability and community. I feel like people are trying to interrupt it or people are just being annoying as fuck. <laughs> All right. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, a new cycle. I'm feeling abundance for you. The Hanged Man. So Pisces energy, and then it's rebirth. So I feel like, yeah, you're in the chrysalis. You're like halfway there. You're like in a, you're not stuck or stagnant or anything like that. It's just like you're gaining enlightenment, seeing things from a different perspective. And it's like you're, you're halfway there. I just keep saying that you're halfway there. And then we have the eight of cups. So walking away from something. So it's like while you're going through this change, you're also moving away from someone that could be emotionally, mentally, or physically. I feel like it's emotionally. You're move, You're seeing things from another perspective. So you're opening yourself up to being sympathetic, but you're also moving forward with your life. So you're just releasing a grudge or not holding on to something anymore. You're seeing, you're stepping back and seeing the forest for the trees. Overall energy is the star. Yeah. <laughs> so you're healing. This is a healing thing. And you're going to heal. You're coming. I feel like you're coming out of this. Or you're, you know, like you're, again, you're halfway there. You could have been dealing with an Aquarius. With that star energy, you could be in the public eye. And you could have taken a break from that. Or you are taking a break from it. I feel like you're walking away from something. So you can heal and focus on you. But I feel like you're like, you're about to come out of this. Clarify this for Gemini. Like you're starting a new cycle. This is Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, Sagittarius, a lot of Major Arcana, then the Six of Cups. Yeah, so there was a karmic cycle with a Sagittarius or someone who has Sag strongly aspected. Yeah, you're leaving a karmic, you're, you're healing from a cycle with this person. Maybe you saw its potential with potency. I'm seeing it as something being birthed or con conception. 
it's like strong potential to make something happen. So there's with potency, it's like you got the energy to make something happen. You got what you need to make something happen, to birth something. And then you have the rebirth. And then vulnerability. So that's like a baby. Like It's like after you shed that skin and you're coming out and you're reborn, you're like renewed. And so it's like you're changing through a situation while you're still in it. And I feel like there's someone trying to come back and restart the cycle. And you're like, no, you just went through all this. Clarifying the hanged man is the three of cups. Yeah. It's like, okay, so you went through the part of the conception, the potency, the beginning of it. You had the potential to do it. So you did it. So you went through the rebirth and now you're, you're being birthed or you, you were just birthed. All right. Star healed healing. You just come out of the birth canal and here this person comes trying to come back. It's like, I feel like if you haven't healed completely yet, you're like halfway there and this person's trying to interrupt you while you're in the chrysalis, while you're gaining enlightenment, while you're seeing things. Cause this is the chrysalis. This is you hanging upside down on that leaf, the hanged man, gaining that enlightenment, seeing things from another perspective, seeing the forest for the trees, right? And I feel like you're happy. You're celebrating that enlightenment, that rebirth going through the rebirth process. And then here comes this person trying to come back. The Hierophant. So Taurus energy, you definitely, you get, you're enlightened. Spiritual rebirth, death and rebirth. You level up spiritually in a major way. And you're celebrating that. Clarifying the Eight of Cups is the Page of Swords. Yeah, this person's spying on you. Someone that you walked away from or they walked away from you. The person that you're healing from or situation that you're healing from, they're spying on you. It's, it's weird, even weirder if they walked away from you and they're spying on you. Five of Cups. They're disappointed. They're crying over you. They are crying over you. With the strengths card, could be dealing with the Leo overall energy. So basically, some situation ended. Either you walked away from them, they walked away from you, whatever. You gathered all your resources and strength and you were like, I'm going to learn from this situation. I'm going to heal from this situation. I'm going to use everything I can to learn from this so that it's not repeated and so that I can make better choices moving forward because you want better for yourself. So you did the inner work that was necessary so that you wouldn't have to repeat this cycle again. And you did it. And so now you're coming out of this. You've healed. You've gone through the healing process and you're coming out of this. You've leveled up spiritually. You're more enlightened now. You see things more clearly. You see yourself more clearly. And then it's like, I feel like this person tried to interrupt your healing process or they're trying to come back. It's like they're watching you celebrate, heal, and move forward and get further and further away from them. Like you're no longer attached to this person. And so now this person, all they can do is watch you and cry about you. They're, this person is feeling very weak because you stand, you're standing in your power. That's odd. It's like they they are watching you. And it's like they want to come back. But you've already healed. And you're you're moving on. You've moved on. I don't know why I'm getting all the exes coming back today energy. Maybe it's because Mercury's retrograde is almost over. Or it's over. And it's like everyone is trying to come back now. It's weird. I don't know if this person is actually going to reach out to you or not, but they are spying on you and crying over you with the Eight of Cups. This is someone wanting to come back. They're feeling very vulnerable. It's like you're feeling strong. You're healed. You did what was necessary to heal from this situation. And this person, they did not. All right, so that's what I'm getting for you, Gemini, for the next 48. With the Three of Cups, 
Eight of Cups and Page of Swords. I feel like for a lot of you, this person is going to reach out to you, but they have not done the work. So, uh, I mean, I don't know how you're going to handle that. But, I, I mean, I do, I see you handling it the right way. Don't go off on anyone. I don't see you doing that, though, but I don't see you going back to this person either. I mean, yeah. But again, I send you peace, blessings, and love. If it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Namaste.